Assalamu alaikum kids. Hope you all are doing good. This is your science class today. We'll continue the same topic. We need air. So, you all open your science books at page number 76. Okay? Do you remember what we learned in the previous videos? Let's revise. Okay? First of all, we learned that air is present everywhere. We cannot see air but can feel it. We also learned that we need air to breathe and to light a fire. And we also learned that we can fill air in many things. We can fill air in a balloon, football, swimming tube, bicycle tube. Okay, what else we learned? Yes, we learned that moving air is called wind. Moving air is called wind. Okay. Now, let's start the next part of this topic. So, let's do the reading first, okay? You also repeat. Papa hangs washed clothes outside. Papa hangs washed clothes outside. A wind is Blowing. A wind is blowing. Papa hangs washed clothes outside. A wind is blowing. What will happen? What will happen to the Wet clothes. What will happen to the wet clothes? Tell your partner. Tell your partner. Let's do the reading again. Papa hangs. Wash it clothes outside. A wind is blowing. What will happen to the wet clothes? Tell your partner. So dear students, tell me who washes your clothes? Yes, your mama. When your mama washes the clothes, what does she do then? She then hangs them outside in the sun on a rope. Okay? Why? Why she hangs them on a rope? She hangs them outside to dry. Okay? Now tell me one thing. If the weather is not sunny and only the wind is blowing, what happens to the wet clothes? Will the wet clothes dry? Yes. You know what? You know what? The wind helps the wet clothes to dry. So it means not only the sun but also the wind helps the wet clothes to dry. Now we know that wind can move things. Wind can move a glider. Wind can move a, an aeroplane. Wind can move a sailboat. And what else wind move do? Wind helps the wet clothes to dry. Okay. Now let's read from here. A gentle wind, 
a gentle wind is called breeze. Again, a gentle wind is called breeze. A breeze can move light things. A breeze can move light things such as bits of paper or leaves such as bits of paper or leaves again a gentle wind is called breeze a breeze can move light things such as bits of paper or leaves. Now let's understand this portion, okay? Here you can see the clothes hanging on the rope. We can see that the clothes are moving gently. Do you know what makes the hanging clothes move gently? The slowly and gently moving air makes hanging clothes move. The slowly and gently moving air is called breeze or a gentle wind is called breeze. Gentle means which is not strong, which moves slowly. When the air moves slowly, it's called breeze or a gentle wind is called breeze what is breeze a gentle wind is called breeze a breeze can move light things light means which are not heavy like bits of paper leaves etc so a wind so this breeze can move bits of paper leaves or in your hair also okay now tell me what is breeze a gentle wind is called breeze so dear students you also repeat a gentle wind is called breeze what is breeze a gentle wind is called breeze and what is wind Moving air is called wind. Moving air is called wind. What is wind? Moving air is called wind. And what is breeze? A gentle wind is called breeze. A gentle wind is called breeze. Okay, students. Uh, you will do the reading from the beginning, okay? From the beginning uh, up to here, such as bits of paper or leaves, okay? Up to this point, you will do reading. So, it is all for today. Uh, let's meet in our next video, okay? Till then, stay safe, stay home, take care. Allah Hafiz.